History Spotlight, brought to you by HEC Media and the Missouri Historical Society. Hello, I'm Dr. Jody Sowell, President of the Missouri Historical Society in St. Louis, and this is History Spotlight. In the 1980s, African American history and characters were widely unrepresented in books for students. Determined to address this gap, a couple from St. Louis embarked on a mission, writing over 100 books in a span of three decades. Early Childhood and Family Programs Coordinator Julie Davis takes us through their journey to becoming trailblazing children's authors, reshaping the landscape of inclusive literature. Everyone has a favorite author, whether you read nonfiction or novels. But do you have a favorite children's book author? I've got someone that you should add to your list, Patricia McKissack. Patricia McKissack was born on August 9, 1944 in Smyrna, Tennessee. As a child, she lived in St. Louis and Kirkwood, Missouri, as well as a few Tennessee cities, including Nashville. Growing up in the civil rights era led to Patricia being the only black student in her sixth grade class at Robinson Elementary in Kirkwood. In 1964, she graduated from Tennessee State University in Nashville. While in college, she reconnected with her childhood friend, Frederick McKissack, who, as you can probably guess by his name, later became Patricia's husband and writing partner. As a child, Patricia knew she wanted to be a writer, but she was told to pick a career that was easier for a black woman to get at that time. Be a teacher, they said. So Patricia earned her master's degree in children's education from Webster University. As a teacher, Patricia was disheartened by the lack of African-American history and black characters in books for her students. So in the early 80s, Patricia and Frederick decided to pivot their careers and they jumped in with both feet. The McKissacks set out to write children's books, both fiction and nonfiction, that centered black stories. Patricia once said, when children don't see themselves in books, they aren't motivated to read. If children don't read often, they usually don't read well, and soon that translates into failure. I don't want that to happen, so I try to create characters children enjoy reading about. Patricia and Frederick wrote books about historic black leaders in politics, business, art, and science. Many of these folks, such as Ida B. Wells and Louis Armstrong, now have many children's biographies about them. But Patricia and Frederick were some of the first authors to do it, to write books about black historical figures for kids. Patricia's fiction books range from Southern black folk tales that she grew up hearing from her relatives to stories based on her own childhood. Going Someplace Special is based on Patricia's childhood love for the Nashville Public Library, which is one of the only desegregated public places in downtown Nashville. The couple researched and wrote over 100 books for children from the 1980s to 2013 when Frederick passed away. Patricia's books have won many awards and honors, including a Caldecott honor, a Newbery honor, and a combined nine Coretta Scott King awards and honors that she shares with her late husband. As an author, Patricia was known to perfectly incorporate humor, simplicity, adventure, pride, and attention to detail and facts. Before her passing in 2017, Patricia was still writing. Patricia spent her whole life advocating for and widening children's literacy. To honor her, please check out one of her books from your local library and share it with a child. Next on History Spotlight, how a famous boat found its untimely demise in St. Louis. To learn more about the Missouri Historical Society, visit mohistory.org.